Well, hello again. Let's go on with this scenario. Not an easy one at all. We are on turn 12 already. I want to have this city on turn 14, but ideally I want to already have it, so I want to conquer it on turn 13. Not going to be easy. We have um, five, six units already around here. I'm a bit late. I think I'm, I'm like one turn later than I was in my the, the time that I actually won this scenario. So yeah, this is not going to be easy. Anyway, let's see. Um, I'm going to do this. So this guy's got the bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess this is going to happen. Okay. Minor defeat. I'm not happy with that at all. How about this guy? Major victory. Well, that's much better. Okay, let's see if we can eliminate... Oh yeah, I had moved this archer here, which was not intended at all. It was a complete misclick. Oh, come on, really? That's all I can do? Even with the extra movement from Alexander? <sighs> this this archer here, that was such a mistake. I could have sent someone there. Okay, so this guy can't do anything anymore. He's going to have a defensive bonus there. Can this guy kill someone? Yeah, okay. Okay, so now I can attack someone else from there. Okay, let me see. It's probably not going to be a kill. Yeah, this is major victory. How about this guy? He cannot attack this turn. Well, that's annoying. This one, major victory as well. Okay, this one is further behind, so I'm going to use him. Also, because it would take him longer to come here anyway. Okay, so let's put some people over there. This guy can go nowhere. Okay, that sucks. And this guy cannot do anything else. Oh man, this moment here. I, I'm almost tempted to reload the auto save at the beginning of the turn just to not do this. Well, let's just try to deal with the misclick of this archer that we did at the end of the previous video. <sighs> maybe, maybe we still have time to win this scenario. I remember now that uh, I won the last time on turn 36 and I'm planning on winning on turn 37 this time anyway. So I guess we should be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not particularly optimistic. Great person. Another combat guy. Yeah, we don't need a combat guy so soon. But we are going to need it after we take this city actually. Because after we take this city comes the time to divide the armies and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, so where are we going to leave Alexander? Uh, we have this guy here. We have an archer here. Oh, oh, I forgot this guy could move. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. I just missed there. So, anyway. This guy can move here maybe and get a shot. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I think I'm leaving Alexander here to give movement to this guy and that guy at the same time. I think that's the only position where I can give movement to everybody. And I really want to give movement to everybody to see if I have a chance at getting this city in one turn. I think I don't actually. I, I'm almost certain I don't have a chance. but. I have to try. You'll have to wait, I'm afraid. I can heal on this farm and I can heal on this farm before I take the city. I could even heal on this stuff, but I don't think it's going to take that long. Okay, whatever. 
Can I just skip turn with this guy? Why not? If I press spacebar, what happens? Nothing. Well, that's so weird. Uh huh. What are you going to do? Does Tarsus have enough production, or we need a mine now? We have a lot of production already. Yeah, we haven't have one that we are not using. How many of these tiles will be for this city? Maybe this one, but not these two. Yeah, yeah, we have more than enough production. Okay, so, 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 so. What are you working? You know what? I should have done that earlier. These horses are better if they're for Sparta than these guys. These guys have, yeah, he has enough. He has enough production there. So should I chop some stuff? Oh yeah, I was planning on chopping this hetairoi over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do some chopping. Okay, we have a new city. Let's swap all the tiles around it. Sorry, damn it, I'm missing a lot. Okay, so Guardian has two tiles that can be these two, so that's good enough for them, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to totally keep the horses for this guy. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's do this and this. Yeah, this looks about right. Let's do this. Are we going to chop this to maybe chop it? Guardian is using those two. No, but it could be using those two. And what else? Nothing else. None of these two have as much production as this one, though. What else is it using? Oh, this stuff here. Yeah, because it doesn't matter if it gets extra food. Mm -hmm. I could totally mine this. Give it to Guardian and build a mine over there. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to keep this stuff here. Three turns for the archer. I already lost a turn because of all the swapping. Okay, you know what? Let's keep that one. For now, for now, maybe that's going to change later. We're going to have a lot of builders, like a ridiculous amount of builders. Okay, and this guy is going to be making an encampment. And this encampment is going to be over here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so this siege tower needs to come over there because it's going to be used to take this city. Oh, and we have a few guys here, so that means this great general can only go as far as here because he needs to provide two movement points to these guys so they can go to the front as soon as possible. We're going to attack this fella and you stay where you are and you my friend have a combat bonus so you're going to join the party over here. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have some attacks on this guy. And one of those units just died against one of my Hetairois. So that's good news for me. Okay, let's see. I will have to kill this guy if I want to get into the city. How can I do that? I'm guessing from here, maybe. Oh, come on. Should I attack? Can I attack this guy? Why not? Oh, come on. Freaking range here. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so I'll have to use one of these guys to kill this fella. Okay, this guy is wounded actually, so he could yeah, just finish the job because he doesn't have enough health to go into the city anyway. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to kill that guy. Can this guy attack the city? He totally can, so no. 
yeah he can do decisive victory here that's better mm -hmm. okay so this guy could get into the city and get a minor victory this guy could get into the city from here major victory major victory okay let's see if I do this do I get the plus 15 yes I do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay how far can this guy go oh this guy can go further away and attack okay this guy can go here Okay, so we have three attacks on the city. I think we're going to need four. Can I get here and attack? Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Okay, so let's move Alexander. And let's see what happens. This guy has plus five when besieging a district. This infantry unit, so let's do that. Minus 74, that was pretty awesome. No, you don't have the Alexander bonus you do but let's give you another plus five yeah that's quite awesome as well and now we have the plus 15 that should be enough yes okay 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 we got top cycles on turn 13 that is not bad that is not bad at all Okay, now where are we going to finish the turn with Alexander? I would like to go there, then I can come back. One, two, and then I can go back all the way here. Yeah, that's fine. So now we have plus 15. Let's do this. Awesome. Can this guy finish something over there? No, he cannot. How about this? Not either. Oh, and I, did, I didn't use anything to heal. Well, I, I needed the movement, so I guess that's fine. Although this guy could have heal here. No, no, he needs a movement as well. Yeah, that is not going to happen because Alexander is too far. Although, if I do it at the end of turn, the turn, then it is going to happen. Okay, so this guy cannot attack anything. Is He cannot cross the river either. I guess he'll go there and just wait. And then I will bring Alexander back. Now this guy could die. One attack from the if all three guys attack him. But that's a risk I will have to take. Yeah, I, I will take the risk. Fuck it. Yeah, because I want I want to make sure this guy gets the bonus when he attacks here for this major victory. Yeah, minus fifty-seven. That was pretty good. So as you can see, I'm I'm thinking every single movement in this scenario. That is really how you have to play it. There is there is really no choice about that. Um, yeah, I'm leaving these spots for the end, the easy spots over there. And this guy needs to go and play with the others. Come on, everybody, go and play with your friends. Go and play the war game, everybody together. Okay, and this guy will help this guy here, because he's too far back. And this siege tower is going here. Okay, let's go here first. We don't want to lose the siege tower. We're going to need it for this city and that city over there. And we are about to divide the army, so get ready for that. Oh, we have another great general. That's pretty good. I can go here, give some movement to this archer, who is very far away from everybody. 
I'm still give plus 10 to those guys because I'm going to be two tiles away from this guy. So maybe this guy doesn't die after all with this plus 10. That could be nice. Okay, we got our galley. We don't need more than two ships, guys, in this scenario. Don't build more than two. You can build three if you want. Okay, that's, that's not terrible, but it's really not going to help you a lot. A heteroi here in turn 23 is, yeah, it's not going to be useful. So let's just get some money. Uh, yeah, great general on turn 21, still useful. And uh, and in the meantime, this is also giving me some money, so that's fine. It's always good to get some gold on this scenario. Okay, let's keep doing some damage there. And this city, an archer on six, an archer there on six. It's already too late, isn't it, to keep building archers. They, they are very slow to move. Let's just go for the money here as well. Okay. This city, do I build a settler right now or do I go with the water mill? I'm going to go with the water mill first because it gives me one food applied for one production and this city is one I, that I built. So the food is actually useful in here. So yeah, I'm going to get the water mill here on the other side. We're going to do this. Got an encampment on the road as usual just in case I purchase a unit here, which is probably not going to happen anyway, but, you know, just in case. Okay, yeah, these two are going to be chopped. Let's get this Hetairoi a little bit faster. Chopping is really not so good in this scenario as it was in the Australian scenario. It's not going to save you the way it did before. So, you know, be ready for it. Okay, so this guy could do the mine for Gordian over here so I can later chop all of this stuff yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to try to chop some settlers with Methony okay so we did well we got Tap Tap mm, Tap Sacus on turn 13 I'm satisfied with that and we got just one attack from the Spearman and that's it this guy can heal through promotion so that's fine okay we are going to lose uh, some fishing boats uh, but the funny thing is we don't really care about it because all the um, all the cities are going to lose them like Alicarnassus or Tarsus or Tyre are all conquer cities so they don't grow anyway we are not working the food so yeah we don't care Flamkin bonus sweet Oh, come on! Stop lying to me with the decisive victory thing. Okay, so we kill this guy. Yeah, sure, why not? This guy needs to basically get out of the way. Oh, really? All of the movement for crossing one river? Five points? Uh, the movement mechanics of uh, this game I'm not particularly happy with I should kill that guy but then again I also want to kill this guy so okay so 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 um, this is going to be the small army oh they have any mortal a lot of times they don't have any mortal just two or three chariots uh, that makes things easier so I guess instead of two units here I'm going to need three Mostly because of that uh, immortal guy. And we can totally whip this stuff. Ooh, interesting. Um, okay, let me think about this. We're going to move Alex. If you use the city to cross the river, you don't lose all of your movement. So that's how it works. Okay. Let me think about this properly. Yeah, I can totally pillage this. And attack the city. Oh, these guys are across the river, so I cannot attack them. That's very annoying. Okay. Alexander needs to come here and help. Minor defeat. 
Seriously? No. That's that's bullshit. I don't believe it. Aha! You are not counting the Alexander bonus. You see? This game is super broken in that aspect. So, keep that in mind. Oh, these plantations will also heal you, by the way. So that is pretty good. Mm -hmm, nothing. And we can get a stalemate there. That's interesting. How about this guy? How much movement do you have? Three. Let's go to the road because these guys don't have a lot of movement. They need the road. This guy can kill this fella. Or go here and heal in order to take that city. I mean, this guy is going to die anyway, right? Mm -hmm. How about these guys over here? Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't count the movement. Let's get a major victory over here. And uh, what about these people? That's a lot of people. If I go here, I'm going to get bombarded by the city and attacked by the immortal. Which is a shame because I truly want to pillage the stuff. And this guy doesn't even have a promotion to heal. Okay, let's leave him one tile away from this. So maybe next turn I can heal him. Maybe. Actually, no, because Alexander is not here. Now, if I don't leave anyone in here, I might... I could... No, I cannot lose this city this turn. I could lose it later, but not this turn. Mm, okay, let's do this. Oh, look at that. Um... Okay, so many units, man, on Didi, it's crazy. Anyway, this is what we're playing, right? Okay, turn 27, yeah, this is still going to be useful. And in the meantime, it will give me some money, so that's pretty good. And we have another guy, and we have a couple more guys here. How far can we get to south? Um, yeah, we can get here, which is nice. You can go there. And I guess you'll have to stay there. And this guy doesn't have a lot of movement. So, you know what, I'm going to do this, we're going to keep this great general here so this archer can be useful. I usually like to send one archer over here, two units and one archer, like two, two land units, two melee units and one archer. Um, you're going to build settlers because that's your role in this universe. And you're going to get me the Gibson. And then you're going to keep chopping that head tidy. Oh, I already had Gibson. Well, this wasn't so urgent after all. Right? Yeah, it really wasn't. Wait, wait a second. Why are you not working that? This is two production, this is three production. Well, that was weird. Anyway. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So we want to affect everybody. So we will move here. Oh, this guy could mm, die because of the immortal, but that there's nothing I can do about it. I will move here to give one movement to this guy as well. And the siege tower can go here. And here, since we are on it. And you can build a mine, yeah? This city is going to need a mine at least. Because I'm planning on chopping a lot of stuff. Then eventually I will want this as well for the goal in the last few turns. But it's not that urgent. So I can chop this one and build a mine over there. Do I have two builds? Yeah. 
So that's the next thing I'm going to do with Methody. Okay, good stuff. You just wait to be attacked. And you can just wait. And Alexander can just wait. And this guy can get the horses, I guess. Is he going to get attacked by the chariot? One, two, three. I think the chariot only has two movement points, so this is okay. I think. And then Tapsacus can work this again. But it only has two populations, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that was kind of irrelevant, now that I think about it. I just, it, it almost pains me to see those horses unworked, because they are so much better when they are worked, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so now I can lose one of those. Okay, interesting. So what are we getting here? All of my units being attacked, which makes perfect sense. And that hoplite over there is still alive. Good for him. Okay, first things first. I want to do that. And I want to do... Mm, I'm not so sure about this one though. Yeah, I might have to use all of my movements, so maybe not. But I definitely want to do this one. And he has only one left. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um. Anyway. Major victory here, so why not? Major victory there. And decisive victory here. Excellent. Can you kill this guy? Apparently not. Well, you can do this in the meantime. Alex can come here, so this guy is going to have plus 15. Oh no, this is two movement points because he's across the river and I don't have that, so screw it. Let's go back. Alex can get into the city, I think, but I'm going to confirm that a little bit later. First, let's do this. Yep. Okay. One archer here. Why not? Why not? Um, one of these guys. Sure. Let's do that. One, two, three, okay, no, 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 I'm not going to do that with this archer. I am going to do this. I'm going to bring my siege tower. And... Okay, let me think about this closely. Um, let's go there. Let's go over here. I can come down here. This archer needs to use the road because he doesn't have a lot of movement of his own. Yeah, let's do that. Gordian, what are you going to do, Gordian? Come and train in turn 30, yeah, that's still useful. <coughs> the incumbent training gives you great general points, so you have to estimate. Are those great generals still going to be useful eight turns from now? I say yes. So that's why we keep building them. Otherwise, you can just prioritize gold and forget about building anything. <sighs> Hippospis here on turn 24. Ideally, I'm going to be taking maybe Parsa on turn 23. But a Hippotis could still go this road. It is tempting. Oh wait, let me s let me check this out. Okay, I'm losing population if I do that. Hetairo in nine turns. Yeah, that is definitely going to be useful, right? Well, it's going to appear up here, which is annoying. But still, he can go up here and, and join the big army of the north. The, nor the army of the north is going to be bigger than the army of the south. And I think this guy is going to come for the conquest of Egypt. Craterus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Craterus will come and help conquer Egypt. 
and you, my friend, don't have enough movement to do anything useful. So. You do not need to cross the river. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Can I get here? I can get here. Ah fuck, I lost all my movement. Can't I teleport this guy without movement? Oh shit, I needed this guy here. Oh, I'm making so many mistakes, I just wasted two movement points either for the archer or especially for this guy I wanted it here ah oh, big mistake you have to count the amount of, of, of movement points that you're going to waste is each time so you don't do those mistakes that I'm doing okay so this guy can go here and chop this stuff that was the plan all along uh, this guy can fix the luxury and apparently that is all no I want to move Alexander out of here so let me think about this can I get movement I can get movement for this archer unless I go too far up which I don't want to do but I'm going to get movement for everybody else or actually I could have stayed here right yeah Damn it. Okay, this is a turn of mistakes. I should have stayed here to give movement to the hoplite. Completely forgot about him. Uh, Gali cannot do anything, so next turn, please. Thank you. Uh -huh, a little bit of range damage, so that sucks, but I have to take it. What can I do? Um, okay. You do this, attack this guy. You can get a decisive victory here. You can approach this and maybe heal. And everybody else will approach. Yeah, that is irrelevant. I cannot cross that line, so I have to attack. Um, one more, this is still useful. If I remember to put my great generals on the right spot yeah okay okay let's deal with these people so some great general points that's going to be useful Oh, that's nice. So this guy can totally heal. So he will. And then I'm going to position my archer here, do this. So this is an easy victory. Yeah, more great general points. And another strength guy. No, this is not what I wanted. I wanted a second movement guy. I, I need a second movement guy. I do not need a second strength guy, but okay. I will divide my army again after the conquest of Babylon, so I guess it is eventually going to be useful just a little bit later. Just a little bit later, my friend. Okay, anyway. What can you do? No, 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 that's not, that's not what I should be doing. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, so Babylon has a hanging garden, so it will heal all of the army. Mm, decisive victory, but to a high price apparently, so maybe not. Yeah, this one is cheaper. Uh -huh, let's claim this guy. So the next guy, finally. Okay, we are going to need that movement. Okay, let me think about this. Um, okay, I have an idea. I'm going to move this guy here. He's giving plus one movement to this fella if he stays there so he can heal. Yep, that's useful. This guy needs to pillage this stuff over there. 
and he, I think he can do it. Yeah, good. Try to pillage as many farms as possible. You are not going to use them for anything else, so... Okay, I want to give this hippo this movement and this archer, for sure. If I stay here, I'm going to give this guy movement as well. But this guy is already giving him plus one and he's a hetero, so he doesn't need so much. Okay, let's go here. So this hetero, this hispa, this has... Yeah, plus three. That's good. That is good. Okay, where is my situation here? I cannot move. This hoplite needs to come down. I want to send my hoplites all the way to the, um, to the conquest area in the south. Because I want them to be there when it comes the time to fight the Varus, because they can be really good against Varus. And uh, Siege Tower, yeah, get ready. You are going to be useful soon. Not yet, but very soon. This guy is going to heal with the rice farm. This is a farm, right? Yeah. And we already have another immortal here. And two more chariots. Man. So, do I want to bring another archer? I really, really don't. Well, maybe for Tyre I can bring one more unit. And then send that unit back over there, like this guy, for example. And then send one of those heteroids over there. Just leave two heteroids here. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. Definitely that's what I'm going to do. Speaking of... Yay! Now we're talking... So this guy can come down and help with the conquest of this city. Of Tyre. Yeah, awesome. So you don't have anything else to chop. Next guy in 9 turns has turned 25 over here. <sighs> if he had one more forest to chop, or two... I would consider it, but at this point, no, I think at this point it sucks big time. So, uh, nurturing four, nurturing four might still make it on time. Or this guy in seven. Uh, nah, screw that. Let's get the money. We can. Oh, we can purchase a guy. So, is it going to be here or there? Is, is this going to be here? Yeah. There you go. So now we have another guy. He doesn't have movement bonus there, but he has all the roads, so that's fine. And we are not going to play next turn. It's getting a little bit late, so... I'm going to stop the video here. We're doing all right. Turn 26, we got Arabella already. Turn 16, sorry, not 26. We're going to get Babylon soon, which is going to heal everybody. So hopefully, let's see if I manage to get Tyre before I get Babylon, so I can use this to heal the people from this conquest. And then I have to divide my army. One army is going to go north, and the other army with Alexander is going to go south. I would like to get Parsa on turn 23. That is seven turns from now, so it's a little bit fast, but Susa is very easy to conquer. After Babylon, everybody's healed, so Susa is extremely easy. Um, so, if you do things right, you can get here on turn 23. Let's see if we manage to make it. If we make it on turn 24, it's still fine, because remember, I, I had one extra turn the last time, and I got this city on turn 23. So, if I get it on turn 24, I'm still going to be more or less okay. If it takes longer than that, I'm going to start being worried. So let's see if I can make it. See you guys on the next video.